So my goal is that seam right there. I'm gonna try to get that out as clean as possible. Cause I wanna remove this whole section, keeping it intact. Cause I got that uh got that, that cage up there up front. So I'm trying to get a screwdriver in there, pry against the spot welds. You know what I'm saying being that they so rusty see if they'll pop off that way if not I'm gonna take the air chisel to it see if I can pop them off that way so I went in started taking these out it ain't even no reason to take them out because this is already cut out duh but uh like I said got that one out got these on the side now it looks like I gotta go in and try to come along this seam here and get it uh took it out from there so what i'm gonna do is i got my air chisel try to sharpen up this tip get it nice and uh flat that way i can get it in between that seam and try to pop them spot wells out Something like that. We're going to try that out. So, so far what I got is they had spot welds back along this lip and it only goes so far. It only goes, I think that lip probably goes to about right here, this bracket. <clears throat> and then back here, it seems like they only had this sealant in between it because they have spot welds on this lip here. And this is spot welded to the top of that bracket. So it's almost on its way out now.
actually a lot. That lip goes all the way down to about right here. That's what it's getting held up on. you have it. Good shit. So of course, now we got the inner rocker panel. Which that's going to go all the way back. Still got to get that out of there. Um, I'm going to end up replacing all that. So, ain't no big deal. Once I had took that upper floor pan off, I had seen uh, that rust hole. Other than that, you know, I thought it was good. But, push come to shove, I mean, you can pass that. But, we'll see, man. We'll see when we get to that point. We're just trying to bust it down and get it apart and See how she put together. So I'm gonna let y'all know right now. This one right here is gonna be a bitch to recreate. For the simple fact that it's got so many bands in it. But I did find in the forum, dude from Canada, he had a cutlass. I think he had like a 81, and he went through. He refabricated all of this. I mean. His floor pan wasn't as rotted out as mine, but right up here, where all this shit is, you know, his was just as bad. And I think they all get bad right here, so. But yeah, he uh, he recreated it, refabbed it up. I'm gonna put a link down below of that form, cause he's got a whole shit ton of pictures and shit like that, so if any of y'all wanna see it, you know what I'm saying? Y'all in the same boat. They'll get you that. So being that this side ain't as bad as the other, I'm not I'm not gonna cut it out. So what I will do, since that uh that bolt snapped off in there, probably gonna cut this out to get in there, weld me up something different, um, and just weld it back cut it real clean and just weld it back because it don't look don't look that bad so I mean even underneath 
so I'm pretty sure to clean up nice. The only thing that I might be skeptical about is the back of the rocker. So that's a, that's a decision I have to make, you know what I'm saying, as I move forward. But I'm going to go ahead, use the air chisel, get all this out back to there. Um, I still got to figure out my, my new floor pan, um, where to cut that out at. So let me get in here, give y'all a closer shot of this passenger side inner rocker. It came out clean, man. 
definitely come out clean and like i said i'm gonna try my best to salvage this i'm gonna clean it up it don't look too bad you know it's got some rust underneath like the other side but i think it'll clean up um, I just don't think it's going to be worth the hassle of cutting it out, trying to make another one because it's already going to be a struggle enough trying to um, refabricate the other side. So from this point, it's just all about cleaning it up, man. Um, I got my measurements for that center body mount right there. I think it was uh, an inch and a quarter down and it was took a measurement from here to center of it and it was 28 and a half so that's what I'm gonna go with and the one the one that I refabricate I'm gonna leave I'm gonna leave some wiggle room in there to where you know what I'm saying if I am off I can compensate for it this here I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna keep cutting this bitch back. I'm gonna keep cutting it back, keep cleaning it up, cause I know all that shit up underneath there is ugly. So, but yeah, I'm definitely, I'm definitely geeked with, you know what I'm saying, how it's coming out so far. It seems like a lot, but you know, once you clean it up and you get that rust out of there, you start seeing how the shit go together. That's it right there, man. It ain't rocket science, you know what I'm saying? When you take a car apart, you not you're not GM. It ain't gotta go back perfect. It just gotta go back to where it's solid, it's safe, and it's reliable. That's it. So I'ma check y'all, man. Get with you on the next one.